my name is Alex Kasich and I graduated in spring 2009 in materials science and engineering. I think it's now just materials engineering. And I am MPNS engineer at MD Helicopters in Mesa. Oh my goodness, yes, I do have a favorite class. Um, my favorite class is actually materials characterization. Um, it was one of the most difficult ones, kind of like there'd be one sentence and that'd be the question and then there'd be like a blank page and a half that you had to like fill, but I, it really, really interest me, interested me. The materials characterization was just something I'd never thought about. I'd never thought about shooting electrons at a material and finding different binding energies and determining what that material was. Like That class was really hard because I'd never thought about things like that before, ever, but it was incredibly interesting. And I would also recommend, I'm just saying, that you take modern physics prior to taking MSC 450 because I took them concurrently and it was immensely helpful. When I look back at my college experience, uh, I really would like to tell freshmen to kind of, I know it's not always possible and it's better late than never, but get a really good idea of what you want to do before starting. If you do research your degree well enough and figure out what you want, then you'll have time to actually get a more enriched learning experience. Perhaps you can work with professors or you can actually find jobs pinpointed to your specific uh, interests, so you're allowed a lot more uh, freedom to follow things that interest you within your particular major. It was very small. I, I mean, I can't even guess how many undergraduates there were. I mean, but there would be like maybe 10 to 15 of the same kids in the class. And you got to know all of them, and it was very, very tight-knit. And I mean, there was, there'd be labs where there'd just be six people in it, and you got hands-on with everything. I mean, there is not a single instrument in the material undergrad lab that we weren't allowed to play with. It was just incredibly, incredibly enriching. Like, you got to be involved in every step of the lab experiment, which really helped me out a lot. because instead of just watching other people demonstrate it. You were, you, we were allowed to go in there and play with the SEM. We were allowed to deposit the gold on our samples. You know. Actually, as far as things that I wish I would have done differently, I, of course, I wish I would have, I mean, if I would have just looked for a second into engineering before business, I would have found materials and it would have, you know, would have stolen my heart and that would have been that, but I didn't. I, I just was so convinced that I was going to be, I'm too stupid for math, I can't do physics, stuff like that. But no, guess what? You can. So I really do think that if anyone can do it differently, explore things that you don't think that you'd be good at. I mean, I know I, I just was like, I was always a kid in math going, why do we need this? And you know what? When you, when you do engineering, you figure out why. It's really funny. I'll see things. I'll be like, oh my god, I remember being in eighth grade and I got yelled at by the teacher because I asked why we need this. And now I know for you know, linear algebra or for this. And so it's, I guess, my, I guess what I would do over again is I just would have researched things and kind of ex given myself a little bit more credit and you know, thought about things that I just dismissed without even considering. Oh, I've, I was pretty much confident as far as the technical aspects of my job. However, dealing with the people, especially in a really cramped space, that was something I had to uh, get used to because I'm, I guess you could refer to me as a loose cannon kind of. I don't really think about things before I say them. I'm just kind of, I just, you know, joke around and say things like, and in the office you kind of, you can't say that. like. I was considering going back to school for something completely different for a while, but having been there and having been in a position in my degree, I realized that I do want to continue in this and I realized that it is important for me to continue on with my education. But you have to kind of get a feeling for that first and unless you're absolutely certain, I would recommend working for a little bit and trying it out. And you know what is awesome? A lot of companies, especially in engineering, will pay for that. For me to procrastinate as much as I did was very dangerous, but when I didn't, I always felt incredibly relieved. So I have to say that just, you know, do homework when it's assigned and try to keep on top of things as much as possible. It sounds corny, but it'll make your life so much easier.